Welcome all to ZKM Sports Talk. This is the first time for Audacity that we're going to be transferring the files to a thing called SoundCloud, SoundCloud that I've been uh, doing recently for my gaming podcast. And this is the first time for SoundCloud that this is ZKM Sports Talk YouTube. This is not our first time, of course. Uh, you got Zach in the background. Hello. Mike on my right. Hello. And we do sports talk. We do uh, on YouTube of NBA teams. We do updates of power rankings. We talk about what team is doing what, so on and so forth. This is our first time with you guys also on SoundCloud that we're going to be doing teams based off of uh, how they did last last season. Now the season's over with with uh, NBA, the champions being the Golden State Warriors. And this is based off of also what the teams are going to have their draft rankings like with, with the draft the Suns have the first pick in the draft so they might have a little bit higher of a chance to have a great player to get them to a better position to be able to become a champion and so this is going to be off based off of that but not for the free agency because there are so many free agents that's a whole different category once that's over with we'll have a second power ranking that let's say Paul George goes to the Lakers all of a sudden He'll, they'll move up to probably the top five easily for Zach, probably, right? Maybe? No, Paul George is a piece of shit. He'd go die. <laughs> yeah, Paul George is a piece of shit. He's going to go die, I guess. <laughs> so that's what our plan is for the second ranking. And then the third ranking we'll do before, like, right before the season starts. And then we're going to try to do a weekly ranking, maybe one, like every other week, so that way they can get teams to have several games under their yeah. belt. We'll probably go every other week, to be honest. So, I mean, if you noticed on the list where the Lakers are ranked and where the Pacers are ranked, yeah, that's where it goes, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do have the cap. So for Zach's power rankings, of course, for SoundCloud, you guys don't can't see the visual for YouTube. Good job. That's awesome that you guys are continuing to show, see the views on this. But... For the power rings for Zach is Golden State Warriors at 1, Boston Celtics, Houston Rockets, Philadelphia 76ers, Toronto Raptors, Portland Trailblazers, Indiana Pacers, Los Angeles Lakers, Washington Wizards, Utah Jazz, Milwaukee Bucks, New York Knicks, New Orleans Pelicans, Denver Nuggets, Detroit Pistons, Los Angeles Clippers, Minnesota Timberwolves, Oklahoma City Thunder, San Antonio Spurs, Memphis Grizzlies, Cleveland Cavaliers, Charlotte Hornets, Orlando Magic, Miami Heat, Chicago Bulls, Dallas Mavericks, Phoenix Suns, Sacramento Kings, Atlanta Hawks, and the Brooklyn Nets at dead last. And so, we'll probably just discuss about what what we think about each, not, we won't discuss every team, but what we think from like the Brooklyn Nets, why they would be probably dead last to... Of course, the Golden State Warriors, they won the championship. So There's a reason why they're number one for, so. So, the Golden State Warriors have basically an all-star team. That's why they're number one. They won two, they won three championships in the last four years. Four years. Yep. And they haven't lost anything. No. And so, yeah, no big deal. Uh, Boston takes the edge over Houston just because of how well they did without two of the best players on their team. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean... One of the best players in the world, actually. Yeah, I see them coming back and just dominating. Um, Houston, I, I just don't know how Houston did so well. I mean, Harden and Paul dishing it out left and right and then Clint Capella's advance mm -hmm. throughout the season. Was, oh yeah. Uh, Philadelphia was the third seed in the East and now they have Fultz coming for a full season and a top 10 pick in the draft. They're going to be fired. Yeah, much better. Much yeah, better, even, much better. Uh, even so. Toronto lost their head coach yeah. but retained everything else so far. Maybe you ever go and have the new coach that comes in, whoever it may be, become, Just, make them to the next part where they don't have to lose to LeBron every year. Yeah. So they, I can see why they'd be number five. Yeah. I, I see Portland just needing something done. Yeah. And, I mean, if they can keep their two guards and then do something, 
they took the third seed in the Western yeah. Conference, which was much harder thing to do than like anything yeah. in the East. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Pacers are just amazing if they could uh, have that one small forward not uh, throw terrible passes <laughs> and cost them the game. That'd be pretty cool. We're still going over that. Too. Uh, Lakers <laughs> have crazy pick in the draft. Um, have a lot of young talent. A um, lot of different players are talking about going there. Yep. Um, Washington's retained everything. They, I don't, I don't know if I really like them as high as I have them, just because they didn't do that great. But I mean, John Wall and Bradley Beal, they're a great combo. They're still, yeah, yeah. They great stuff. combo guards. Um, kind of the same for the Jazz. Um, Donovan Mitchell, another year under his belt. Yep. Um, yep. And uh, Rudy Gobert. Yeah. Gobert for the whole season. Yeah. Um, that would be huge. Uh, Giannis just keeps improving. Yep. Um, if he can add range to his game, they'll be even higher. Like, they're, oh, yeah. They're just. Uh, um, Pelican, or Knicks, they're another team that a lot of people talked about going there. They've got bigs in place. And then they've got lottery pick as well. Yep. So use the lottery pick well and then have one of the major players go there. Now hopefully they can make a pick that will uh, – Frank Nicolina is a decent player, but they got to do a little bit better on their drafting. they got to get somebody that's going to – Nicol- yep, I, they're, they're scouting, something scouting about trainer, that. A little scouter is yeah. kind of – yeah. I know they like these foreign players, but they may want to – just get a guy that's guaranteed come in and come help him rebounding. Yep. See, I don't know about you guys, but Chris Dobbs is is Chris Bosch. Yeah. But obviously, well, he's taller, obviously, but he's he's a better player. It's just he loves to shoot the shoot. ball, three yep. pointers, and all that. So they need a. They had a, a Quinn. A Quinn had a fairly decent year. Yep. And Kander is a hell of a rebounder. Kander's a good rebounder. Yep. But they need a forward that. Can, a decent forward that, that can, can score defense and really defense. Well. Defense, yep. A good player. If they can get a, a free agent that can come in and just yeah. help, that would help Porzingis tremendously. Yep. Because again, well, Quinn's just not a scorer. No, Quinn's not a scorer. Like like we said, he's a. If they can get like a small forward or a wing, they can, yeah. they can play defense like what Zach said and get some rebounds whenever yes. Cannon's blocking them out. Right. They just go down. Porzingis yep. doesn't play. The defense or doesn't play the rebounding game. Game enough. Like, he's too far out. Yep. So, yeah. choose that three pointer a lot. And then the Pelicans. Next team, the Pelicans. If yeah. Drew Holiday can keep his thumb out of his bum. Yep. And then they do anything keep. at all in the offseason. I mean, if they keep, keep Cousins, Cousins and like keep that Davis, probably, yep. that would probably be the best option. Yeah. And then. Getting literally anybody else, that team could move up so yes. much. Yes, and if they can keep Solomon Hill healthy too. Yeah, I know he but, actually played pretty decently. But that, that that's basically just Davis and Drew putting yeah. him at thirteen. Right. Like, yeah. Anthony Davis is just unbelievable. Uh, yeah. Ridiculous. Um, Denver, I I really didn't want to put Denver that high. I just don't have faith in the people that are under them. Um, Denver's not going to get anything. Their their team is so deep, and they just they're not doing well. Like, it's enough, yeah. They're, they're not showing sure their their potential yeah. with the players. Right. Like Jokic is a monster. Like, yeah. He's averaging almost triple doubles yep. as a center. Like, the center. Yep. Yeah. I guess I shouldn't say triple doubles because he only definitely has doubles. six assists. Definitely double, but, double like, definitely double doubles all night, all the time. But yeah, like, points I mean, and rebounds, yeah. It's just, yeah, how much more can one person do for the rest of yeah. the team not to be helping them out? Yeah. Um, Dwayne Casey is a big thing for yep. the Pistons. Yep. Yep. Well Same as, with me. I thought that too. Yep. As well as maybe getting whatever happened to them while they were like leading the NBA. Yeah. Like they were one well, of the best teams. Yeah. And all of a sudden they just dropped off the face of the earth. Lost yeah. and lost. Yep. Um, Timberwolves dropped. They didn't do as well as people thought. They barely yep. made it into the playoffs. They did really good in the playoffs against the Rockets yeah. for a game or two. But 
They're already talking about getting rid of Cat. Like, he's unhappy there. Yep, yeah. they're also talking about getting rid of Wiggins, too. And if that happens, they're going to just kind of drop off. Oh, course. yeah. If Cat leaves, that's OKC's it. OKC's going back to an all Westbrook show. Yep. Yep. With uh, Paul George gone. Spurs, yep. no matter what you get to replace Kawhi, you're not going to get a replacement for Kawhi. Right. Yep. Um, Memphis, they've got a draft pick, and then they get Conley back. Yep. But they're still, so, I mean, yeah. they're still going to be shit, but it'll be a better shit than uh, Cleveland's losing LeBron, which puts Love as their best player. I mean, he did work when he was in uh, Minnesota, but he's, you don't build, generally he's don't about build, you, five years older than You can't LeBron build a team around him anymore, no. no. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they've got a good draft pick, but it's still yeah. meh. Uh, Charlotte, just kind of garbage time. They've got the 12th pick of the draft, I think. Yep. They, they just haven't done anything. Nope. Right. And they keep talking about getting rid of Kimba, which yep. is unquestionably their best player. <laughs> yeah, he's, they're talking yeah. about him going to Cleveland. Yeah. Um, Orlando, hey, they fire Vogel. Um, I just, I don't even know what to say. What they're they, doing. They were yeah. another team that started on fire. They won like nine games in a row. Yep. They were the best team in the East. Yep. For the first month and a half. Yep. And then plummeted to the second They have some team. decent players. I mean, they they're, have they're, some decent players. They have Fournier. And yeah, Fournier. Lucha and Bitch. Isaac. Yeah. Lucha Lucha Bitch. Yeah. yeah. Isaac was injured all year. Yeah, yeah. that hurt, yeah. hurt him a little bit. Yeah, that yeah. hurt him a lot, actually. But, so, uh, yeah. who's their head coach now? Do we? Yeah. Oh, uh, the Steve Clifford. Did he go to Orlando? Yep. Steve Clifford. Oh, okay, Sam. So, yeah. uh, Miami is talking about getting rid of... I saw white side. I saw on white side. Yeah. Which is another thing that the Pacers should look into. Uh, 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 a big uh, white side Best fan, center in the game. Uh, best uh, pure center in the game. He hasn't been the biggest. Had a worse attitude in basketball. So he's going to play for the Dallas Cowboys then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Uh, Chicago, they've got a good draft pick. I just, they're they're too mixed match. They don't, yeah. they don't have... A set leader. They're too young yeah. as well. Yep, too young. Yep. Uh, Chris got Dillon. rid of Miritich. I don't know what yeah, that, that was, was about. Stupid. That was really Got rid of Captain Portis and got rid of Miritich. Yep. That uh, makes a lot of sense. I I see the Suns blowing their first pick. Like, that's just uh, oh, yeah. what they do. Like, yeah. the very first pick of the draft, they're just going to do. They'll get be some foreign guy Anthony that's. Anthony Davis two, or Anthony Bennett 2.0. Yep, yep. <laughs> Probably. Uh, I skipped the Dallas Mavericks. They have oh, yeah. only their their draft pick from last year is literally the only thing they've got going for them. Oh wow! Um, they've got Smith Jr. Yeah, they, yeah. They've got a good pick in the draft this year. I just yeah. I don't pick think in the draft? That, I don't think they can get that lucky twice. Yeah, yeah. boy, if they do, that would be I tremendous. Mean, but you still got Dirk hanging around. They, they got... milked Dirk too long, and yeah, uh, he's just. He He's can. 21 years in the league. Yeah. It's like, okay, Dirk. Um, the, maybe time to call The Kings are a bunch of babies. Yeah. Fresh out of college. Yeah. Um, while they do have some nice pieces, it's just they don't have. They're not ready yet to no. take over yeah. games and have a weak, true leader. Uh, Yarn's not there yet. The Hawks have absolutely nobody. Yeah. yeah. So they might look into somebody with their third pick. And yeah. the Brooklyn Nets are just. <laughs> yeah. Awful. That's a good maybe, way to put it. Maybe next year, I think they should have their first round pick, maybe. which would, should be the first pick of the draft. Yeah. Unless they get incredibly unlucky in the lottery. Well, they so well, they'll probably do a trade the, the, for some veteran players yeah, and just trade like, like four picks or something like that. <laughs> yeah, they'll trade their first round pick for J.R. Smith. But, yeah. The greatest player it, in the ch- playoff championship. Exactly. The MVP for the Warriors. <laughs> I, I, I completely say that. Like, yeah. that that was... That was awful. Oh, what he did it. Yeah, we're awful. Awful. The morale dump cost them <sighs> the first two games of the series. Yeah, like, awful. They could have had a better chance, that's for sure. They wouldn't have gotten swept, that's for sure. Yeah, they at least won one game. All right, mine's a little more shocking than Zach's okay, here see and Mike's. Uh, Kyle has. First, we got the Golden State Warriors, the Boston Celtics, Houston Rockets, Indiana Pacers, 
Utah Jazz, Washington Wizards, New Orleans Pelicans, Minnesota Timberwolves, Denver Nuggets, San Antonio Spurs, Miami Heat, Philadelphia 76ers, Toronto Raptors, Los Angeles Clippers, Oklahoma City Thunder, Memphis Grizzlies, Portland Trailblazers, Miami, Milwaukee Bucks, Los Angeles Lakers, Detroit Pistons, Phoenix Suns, Cleveland Cavaliers, New York Knicks, Chicago Bulls, Dallas Mavericks, Sacramento Kings, Charlotte Hornets, Brooklyn Nets, Orlando Magic, and the Atlanta Hawks. So, I wow. see one thing that makes this list awful. <laughs> What's that? That's number 28. That should be number 30. Yeah, it, yeah, it, I it, have it, a 32. It, yeah, you've got the Nets up. Pretty high there, way guys. Too high. Way too high. Yeah. Way too high. Of course, those bottom three teams are, well, the Pretty much entertaining. I, yeah, I, actually. I just don't understand why the Magic are so bad. Yeah, it's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad because um, they should be better than they are. Vucevic and Fournier and uh, what was the other Aaron one? Gordon. Aaron Gordon. Gordon. Yep. They're, they shouldn't be as bad as they are. Yep. Maybe Clifford will do something with them. I don't know. But they're just not very good. Yeah. So the Spurs are going to be real yeah. not good. <laughs> you moved the Spurs up to number 10. Yeah, you got them up. I mean, I... Is I, it because of Popovich? It's Popovich. Popovich. It's because of Popovich. Yep. They've gotten that, somehow, yeah, it does. It does it. It. Get yep. it. Somehow Even if they were to trade and get... Like four players, he would still somehow make it to where they're one of the best teams. He is, an yeah, it's one of the best. Is, he's the best coach of all time, I think. Yeah, he's probably get one the more heat. year. Huh? The Heat. I like them. I like their their depth. They're ridiculous. Jo- uh, Bam Adebayo, Josh Richardson, Justice Winslow. They scared they're, me. They're, they scared me more than just about anybody this past yep. year. Remember one Dwayne game Wade coming off the bench. We all went to that game, didn't we? Is that the game we all went to? Miami. Box. We went to the box. Okay. Yep. That's but, gross. I don't like that. Especially, especially losing white sides. <coughs> well, so far, he's, yeah. he's still on the team so far. So. And I mean, the the most shocking part about that is literally just putting them above the 76ers who beat them. Yeah. yeah. And then That's the 76ers true. are only going to get better. Yeah, I kind of mm. mess up on that part. Yeah. That feel. With the Suns, the reason why I have them higher than Zach is that I think they're, they're I think they're gonna get a really good player in my opinion. I think they'll get uh, I mean, that's DeAndre Ayton. He's a really good center. I guess supposed to be like Shaq yeah. 2.0. I mean, the draft pick. Yeah, I can definitely see that. If he's really yeah, if he's as good a player as they say he is. I really like that piece. Yeah, that number was good. Four. Number four. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're uh, we're really also another deep team. By the way, for the people on SoundCloud, since you guys aren't on YouTube, uh, all three of us are from Indiana. We all are Indiana Pacers fans, as you can tell whoa, by whoa, whoa. how much. Completely biased. Completely biased. <laughs> yeah. uh, Except for Zach with his boy on. He's, that's his best buddy. That's the best player in the NBA. I would Third. Say. Three point shooter extraordinaire. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, one, one, one or two months out of the year, maybe. <laughs> the other ones, he, is, he can't find a He threw the team. ball that way. Threw it like, one one, game, like only like three times. One game, caused a loss, one loss. Well, I don't remember, what was it, September when he shot like 11% from the field? Well, he had a rough, yeah, he that had was a rough awful. month there. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. But then he came through a 30 point performance that was the biggest. Boost for the Pacers and any team in NBA. Also, uh, I have the Grizzlies up there at number 16 because they are getting my calling back. He His contract is awful, but I love his defense. He's a good point guard. And then they're at, they have the third pick in the draft? No. Fourth pick. Because they got, I think. I know it's just my top three because yeah. I know the top three. Yeah, I think they're fourth, the fourth pick in the draft, so that that's gonna that's, help them. I'd like to hope sure. that they'd that be sounds, better than they were last year. They gotta that be. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure it went Suns, Kings, Grizzlies, and then Mavericks. Yeah. Then uh, Portland, I think they're gonna blow it up. I think they're gonna either get rid of Damian Lillard or there was CJ McCollum talks. There was talks of the big D man coming to the Indiana Nation. Damian Lillard. Oh, oh wow. Gosh, that would be insane. Really? Yep. As long as we don't trade Boyan. It's no. all fine with me. It was definitely Boyan because mm. I was excited. Oh, <laughs> God. Uh, Boyan, Dan Paulson? 
There's got to be, you think. Aaron Collison and probably Leaf. It was one of the bigs. Um, I think they even, I think they said Turner. Turner? Oh, wow. Okay. For Lillard. For Lillard. Ooh. Yeah. Age to lose boy on. He's, speaking of uh, uh, Pacers, I guess Turner is. Oh, we saw the picture. Rich. We saw the he's picture. He's got like a six pack. Yeah. He's, he's got some muscles on him. Yeah. He's, he's starting to become a Coming back. Coming back. Okay. Didn't do all, he was awful last year. My past year. Yeah, he wasn't. Not awful, but he wasn't. Uh, uh, the he expectations wasn't. were supposed to be higher. He was supposed it, to be the man. But. Yeah, his scoring wasn't even very good for. Like what, we thought he at least averaged 20 points a game. I was hoping he'd average 18 to 20 points a yeah. game. We kind of didn't okay. quite reach that. Yeah. He barely made it 10 some games. Yeah. My game, he didn't score anything. He got, he got in foul trouble a lot this past year. That was really sad. Um, yeah, you had the Utah number five. You're yep, I love, I love uh, Donovan, Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. He, yeah. 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 He's, He's unbelievable. And, and then Rudy Gobert's good. And yep. Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. impre- they impressed me in that series. Uh, well, Oklahoma City? Oklahoma City series. Eh? Yep. That was a good series. They yep. played really well. Yeah, oh yeah. I was really impressed with them. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know if I would put them that high because I didn't put them that That is kind of high, but yeah. But, I mean, they have a lot of room to grow between the two of those guys. And then if Derek Favors could go back to how he was – Earlier in his career, Rare. whenever he had yeah. the explosiveness that he had. Yep, he's getting too much weight. He's like he's kind of a big, yeah, yeah, kind of a bigger guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not. He's, he's getting was, older. Yep. Uh, I'm a big fan of Alec Burks. Oh yeah. If he could get back into form, that would be pretty. Oh yeah. Awesome for the team as well. All right, guys, let's move on to Mike's power. Until you see mine. We got the Golden State Warriors, mm. Houston Rockets, Boston Celtics, Cleveland Cavaliers, Philadelphia 76ers, Indiana Pacers, Toronto Raptors, Utah Jazz, Portland Trailblazers, Oklahoma City Thunder, New Orleans, New Orleans but Pelicans, I put an S, I forgot the S at the end, <laughs> San Antonio Spurs, Minnesota Timberwolves, Denver Nuggets, Milwaukee Bucks, Los Angeles Clippers, Miami Heat, Washington Wizards, Detroit Pistons, Los Angeles Lakers, New York Knicks, Memphis Grizzlies, Chicago Bulls, Orlando Magic, Charlotte Hornets, Dallas Mavericks, Phoenix Suns, Sacramento Kings, Atlanta Hawks, and the Brooklyn Nets. One of the biggest differences between mine and your, both of your guys is the Cleveland Cavaliers. Yep. Yeah, I've got them at 20s. Yep. So that's if LeBron stays. Well, that's, stays. What, yep. that's stays. what I mean. LeBron stays and they get, they, we talked about it, Kawhi Leonard. Leonard. Yep. Then all of a sudden they become one of the better teams in the NBA, but well they were number two anyway. But uh, that all is dependent on LeBron James. Yep. I just heard that he's Windhorse Brian Windhorse is saying that he's looking at ways to stay with Cleveland. Yep. So that's what I'm. I mean, basing yep. this on LeBron, uh, Kevin Love, and then a good eighth pick, isn't that what? Yeah. Eighth pick, yep. eighth pick right that along. That anybody? Be, yep. That's already better. Not, but They'll but be in the finals again, most likely. Yep. Uh, I love my 76ers. I they're they're gonna be better. Wow, they're gonna be better. Number five. Yeah. They're gonna they're one year older. Yep. The rookie of the year, Ben Simmons. Rookie of the year. He deserved it because in he, his sophomore season. Season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, oh, then that's gonna be his third year. Third year now. Yeah, third year. He's gonna be even better. And Fultz coming back. That's gonna yep. help tremendously. Yeah. Yep. And a pick. Top yep. ten pick. Yep. And then of course our Pacers, which. Uh, uh, they need to re-sign Thad Young. And then get rid of Bowie. Yeah. Thirteen million. He should be at least eighteen to twenty million. And Boyan maybe get a raise to eighteen twenty million. Oh, and then cool. Boyan be a starter again. And then Boyan be the sixth man of the year. You know what you could do is pay him twenty million, have him come off the bench. For yeah, have him be, to be the sixth man of the year. <laughs> six man he be the sixth man. He's already the leading third three point shooter in the NBA. Now, and uh, then Darren well, Darren Carlson Carlson is, is that's the right. leader. He's number two then. Okay. Yep. And then let's see. Utah Jazz. I like Utah. They really impressed me in that Oklahoma City uh, series. Yeah, I see you got Oklahoma City up there pretty high. Yeah, yeah. they're pretty high. It's Russell Westbrook. Yep. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yep. Keeps them together. Them. Yep. I don't know. It's And Stephen Adams is pretty good. And it's going to hurt. Andre Robertson is yep. pretty good. Oh, yeah. And Robertson, yeah, score, Robertson but... will be back. He'll be back. 
Uh, Pelicans, you can't go wrong with that, with uh, Davis and Cousins. I remember watching a highlight of uh, Houston versus Oklahoma City, and uh, uh, Robertson was standing on the three-point line, and Chris uh-huh. Paul looked at him, and he just waved him off, like, go ahead and go shoot, shoot it. it. Robertson yeah. shot it, and it went complete air ball. Like, it was like yeah. 10 feet away from the goal. Like, it was <laughs> awful. Yeah. He just waved him off, like, go ahead yeah, and go and shoot it. Yeah, he's not a shooter. Yeah. Awful. But he plays great defense. Excellent defense. Uh, okay. Let's see. Denver. Uh, I'm, like, I'm with Zach on that. Denver should be better than what they are. They're just not... Uh, they're kind of like a, they're Minnesota. They're like a, a good team, but they're just not over the top yet. Yep. Milwaukee's kind of that way. Giannis is unbelievable, but the rest of the team is all right, but not great enough. Clippers, I'm never sure about the Clippers. I, don't I love know. Clippers. They're, they're deep. They're going to be better. They're better. Well, and they, they, have, they have the 12th and 13th pick in the draft, too. Worse, like. Yeah, they had a rough year. They I had six man a year of Lou yeah, Williams. Yeah, Lou Williams. 23 points a game. Well, Patrick Beverly should be back. Back, yeah. You'd think they'll be better. Uh, Miami Heat, I wasn't sure about them. I. Uh, and like what Zach said, they might lose Hassan Whiteside. Uh, Whiteside, so. that will kind of hurt them. Yep. Is he a free agent? Is he no, afraid or are they going to trade him? Just trade him. Trade him. He, he has such a pleasant personality. Oh, yeah. I oh, love yeah, him. He's such a great guy. Side, yeah. uh, Washington, I dropped them down quite a bit yep. from uh, last year. I I'm not, can't say I'm not impressed. I'm just uh, it, it, guard-oriented, you know, yeah, wall they, and feel. They won so many games with so little, it's hard to, like, kick yeah, them out of there. Wall was out for a Yeah, Wall was out for a long half time. The season, pretty feels, much, yeah. Stepped up like yeah. crazy. Oh yeah, they're, they're kind of like they're kind of like Portland of the East, you know, yep. guard oriented yep. team. Yep. I don't know if these teams are finding out that guard oriented teams are just they're good, but they're never going to put you over the top. Yep. See, it's it's hard though because look at Gold State, you're looking at four or five all stars on one team, so everybody's kind of just below them. You know what yep. I'm saying? They're, it's just so hard to win and, uh, I in mean, the NBA. I mean, Golden State has three of the... Well, we'll say four players that are the number two in their position. In the, for, uh, for the, the whole West, NBA. In, for the West. For the West. West. Well, yeah, that's right, because we've got Victor Oladipo yeah. on our team. Exactly. Right. Right. <laughs> I would take Victor over Clay. Oh, yeah, I would too. Uh-huh. Oh, there's no doubt. And, uh, I mean, Curry... Curry falls behind Westbrook only because Paul is too old to be number one. Right, right. Um, And then Durant, well, I guess Durant in the the West, he's number one. One, yeah. But he comes up short. Yeah, (laughs) Yeah, it's... He had had to go to the Warriors to be able to beat him. I know, I know. That was a... That was a crap. Yeah, the ball... Until the after the free agency, the bottom the, twenty teams, the, twenty through thirty, they're going to be stuck there until the, they sh- like they either improve in the draft, with the draft or, yeah. or off season free, free agency. agency. So, yeah. yeah, they're just yeah. that I mean, just interchangeable. And I, I do like that because that means because that puts the Lakers right at the twenty point. Yeah, so they yeah. have a lot of room to go out. Lakers of, can. Uh, oh Lakers, yeah, they can easily be a top ten team. They go with Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, and LeBron James. And I mean, they're in the top. 10 teams. And the Spurs are still up there because technically they still have Leonard and same, yep. yeah. same with the Pelicans. They still have, um, have them. Cousins. Marcus Cousins. Yep, that, and, uh, that, this, is what, this was a very tricky power uh, ranking really right here is. because yeah, it, it was going off of what could be plus what is. is yeah. And, you know, walking right. that fine line. I, the next I, I mean, it definitely shows with him having Cleveland at the top. Like, yeah, they could. Because, yeah. I mean, it's basically an opinion on if people, if we think people stay, stay. versus yep. where they'll go if they decide to leave. Was to me though, being a basketball fan, it'd be hard to be like a Brooklyn Nets fan or an Atlanta Hawks fan. Yep. Or any like those bottom. Yep. Bottom five. five probably. Well, definitely the bottom five, because there's just no chance. Yep. It doesn't it's matter so what crazy. happens. What's so crazy is. You have Oklahoma City Thunder at ten. They could lose Paul George. And then they but could, Clint, Lakers 
or at 20, they can, they get can switch. Charges. They can switch. All the switch. Switch places. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Definitely. If they, if that happens. LeBron, LeBron, yeah, Alonzo Ball with uh, Paul George and, LeBron and Kyle Gage. Kuzma and yep. LeBron. Kuzma. Oh, God. Yep. Well, They're I'll, a totally different team. I'm yeah. betting on Alonzo Ball getting hurt and then the Lakers' <laughs> stock rising rapidly because they don't have that ugly ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's, uh, I'm looking forward to it already. Yeah. Even though it's gonna be football I know, season like, pretty soon. Season ended like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, yep. yeah. Cool. I, I, I know. I'm ready to looking forward to it because yeah, uh, because the next month we'll find out uh, the what, draft. Yep, the right? draft and the free agency. The Another month from now, LeBron will sign. Where he signs, yeah, we'll and then do it a, does start going after that. Yeah, we'll do another uh, uh, podcast, and we'll let him know because that's gonna be interesting. I mean, what? Well, yeah, while the draft, I feel like will change some of these teams. A lot of the draft it's gonna be free. Picks, you're not gonna know until Til after. Well, until the, after the season. the season starts. To be season honest starts, with you yep. guys, to be honest with you guys, I didn't know anything about Dominic, Dominic Mitchell until the season yep. got oh, out of yeah, the way. Yeah, I can see and that. All of a sudden, yep. the guy went freaking nuts. Yes. I thought he was going to be a good play, but I was expecting him to be an, an excellent And player. being one of the top players uh, in the NBA. <laughs> I, was, I was expecting Josh Jackson. I thought Josh Jackson. Oh, same year. To be uh, the leading scorer. Dallas Mavericks. Uh, yep. Dennis Smith. Dennis Smith. Dennis Smith. I thought he was going to be the Donovan Mitchell. Of, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Just, just different. Yep. Yeah. Uh, but jo- Josh Jackson looked like yeah. he, he was going to be a, the next LeBron James. And yet, did you and watch I hate, him? I hate calling people the next stuff. Uh, yeah. But, like, and he's, then he's a, just so raw. Like, well, and then you realize how skinny he was. Yep. <laughs> when you saw him play, you realize, oh, shit, these guys are skinny. I was really wanting to see Jonathan Isaac take the yeah, Magic yeah, 2 playoffs. Both, I, know so you, I really love Jonathan Isaac. Both loved but, him a lot. Yeah. He just, he's hurt the whole uh, season. Yeah. So then you got Kuzma and Mary. Yeah. Or, Kuzma Mark, had a hell of a Mark and Lori Mark and yeah. yep. They like I there like Mike and Zach on SoundCloud, they they really loved Mark and I didn't yeah. even hear, heard of him, but all of a sudden he just Yeah took off and just unbelievable yeah. for the Chicago Bulls. Yeah. yeah. And who's the one the other guy that you just said? Kuzma. Kuzma. Kyle Kuzma. So, he didn't play like a rookie. I mean, no, he didn't play like, like a star. Alonzo Ball was the number two pick in the draft, yeah. and Kuzma, Kuzma was like the 30th. The 30th, yeah. yeah. yeah not, not right sure longer, Kuzma yeah. was a better player yeah. than Alonzo Ball. And look at Jordan Bell. He was a Jordan second Bell. pick, yeah. second pick in the draft, or second round pick. Yeah. And, now and he was, yeah, the they traded. 60th pick? Yeah, 60th pick or something like that, yeah. Yeah, look at him. And they trade, the Bulls had the pick, and they traded oh, it for yeah. cash. Yeah. That could have been the 60th thing because the Bulls didn't do very good the year before. Isn't that amazing, though? Yeah. Yep. See, you, drafting is important if if you can pick it. And I know we talked about the Nicolina thing for the Knicks. Whoever drafted them, they obviously saw something, yep. a potential. And he'll probably be a decent player, I guess. Well, that, that goes back to saying the same thing about Porzingis, even. Porzingis. Like, yeah. That one kid literally cried. Remember that kid? Right, right. Yeah. 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 Like, boo, yeah. boo. Yeah, because he was so skinny, you know. Was he was a like, foreign guy. Well, we plus never four, knew him. didn't know him. Yep. But it's hard to, you can't teach 7'3". That's something you can't teach. If you're 7'3 and can run, yep. then it's pretty hard to beat that. No. Whereas Nicolina, I don't know. He's he's raw. He's like what raw, Zach said. His shot yeah. isn't there yet. And, you're looking at a guy that five or six years down the road, maybe. Might be pretty decent. So draft, you know, Philadelphia, look at, they're going to get a good draft pick. Yep. And They're going to be better than what they were. And it's still early on some of the rookies from some the last Some of these guys, oh, yeah. Like, I mean, look at Paul George. Paul oh, George yeah. didn't do anything. Dollars, First three, three years. years. Yeah, yeah. three or four years, yeah. Danny Granger got hurt, and he got put in a starting start. role. That start took over. The entire team. Yep. And went to the five. Well, it's kind of finals. Kind of like what happened with Old Depot. Yeah. This yep. last year. Yep. Yeah. All of a sudden, it's his team. I mean, you know? Old Depot wasn't doing Didn't anything. Didn't know anything about him in Oklahoma that, City. That's the yeah. thing with uh, the draft is this: is, these are young kids that they're going to a team that might not work on their, yeah. their system, their yeah. scheme, their defensive scheme, offensive scheme. Might not work. Team. All Depot is a perfect yeah. example. Go to another team. Magic and Thunder, and all of a sudden, you went to the Pacers and. It, it, fit. It, off. it fit. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Every team so, has their certain player that they want, but it not might not work out for them. Yeah. And the chemistry is also another. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Like, like players just can't work together sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Like um. Well, like actually, they, Old they, Depot they, and Westbrook. Yeah. That was a good, um, good one. 
the Harden and Chris Paul, that was the talk of last year. Yeah. Like, was that that team wasn't going to do anything. Right. Because they were going to have the, one player was going to have the ball and yank it away right, from them. Right. Like, they weren't going to be playing together. They were, and then one they, was coming off the bench and right. stuff like then that. Then they had, what, how many wins in a row? We have 20 some wins they in a row. They had 15 and a, 15 and like they, some odd number right after that. Playing together. I mean, they were yeah. the number one team in the West. Like, yep. they beat the Warriors. They're the Warriors. Number one the, team. Number yeah. one team. Yep. So, chemistry is very important. And yes. say, what are the Pacers? Go yeah. either way, yeah. too. Like, and you can lose chemistry just as easy as you can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we. Portis and <laughs> yeah. Music. Uh, the Pacers are, for example, they went to our the president, Fr- Kevin Pritchard, and said, hey, don't trade anybody. Right. Keep, Keep us, us as we are. And we went from an eighth, seventh seed last year to a fifth seed this year. They have two 40, more slots. 48, 48 wins. wins. Yeah, and we could we could have easily been the third. Yeah. Yeah, if we didn't lose. Uh, Freaking Hawks and Magic, yeah, or the Mavericks, Mavericks yeah, middle of the season. Games, yeah. Or we didn't throw the ball <laughs> to the Celtics. <laughs> We're never going to forget that play, are we, in the NBA ranking? <laughs> but, yeah, Cause we were, chemistry We would have taken the lead over every single team in we the Eastern the- Conference except the Raptors. Mm-hmm. Like, we would have had the... The season advan- like advantage, yep, over if everybody. we would have had a record advantage. Yeah. Yeah. Record advantage, yeah. yep, because we would beat them twice. And I, I think right. the Wizards were the only other team, and we were 2-2 two and two against them. Yeah, yep. right. So this should be the year that Bojan makes the difference. He's going to be the guy that passes the ball beautifully. All the time. Perfectly. Perfectly just, beautifully. I don't need to like, oh, spin, spin, spin the ball. And it'll it'll just... Spin right back to it. Oh, yep. Heads yeah. them off to a different team. <laughs> This will be interesting off season though. I'm yeah. excited. Okay, with that being said, guys, I think we're gonna head in go ahead and end this podcast right here, and we'll see you guys later.